Hi there, this is Love Johar. Thank you so much for tuning into this video and thank you so much for watching this channel. A very important video for you out there if you are trying to understand more about ISO IC 27017. So in this particular video, we will try to understand the basics because this is part one. What exactly is ISO 27017 all about and what is cloud computing? How does ISO 27,017 actually helps in implementing cloud related controls a lot to watch in the part one stay tuned and there will be of course new parts coming as we keep on understanding this standard it is very important these days because uh, every company nowadays have cloud computing vendors and service providers so it is imperative that we understand this in depth now So let us try to understand what is ISO 27017. So cloud computing, as we all know, has become an integral part of our business operations. Every company has some sort of the other uh, public cloud network with, which they are using nowadays for outsourcing some or the other part of their infrastructure, be it public cloud, be it public cloud, be it AWS, be it Azure. Every company almost uh, nowadays is utilizing the cloud framework if not fully then at least to up to a great extent yes uh, every company has started adopting the cloud technologies these days so with all the advantages and cost savings uh, especially associated with the uh, upcoming and already the existing cloud technologies which are in place there are of course new sort of challenges which are inherent in making sure that the data security, the data privacy for all the data that you are putting into the cloud for your organization, which is of critical use and importance for your business survival and for your business continuity should be addressed properly. So that's why ISO has created this standard, ISO IEC 27017, which actually provides a framework which is specifically designed to address these concerns. So here today we will try to understand to have a comprehensive overview of ISO 27017. What is its important? Its importance, its significance, and how can we implement the standard and the relevant controls in our organization? So what is first of all ISO IC 27017? As I've already mentioned, it is an international standard that provides guidelines and best practices for information security controls, which are specifically related to the cloud services. Okay, so now we are only focusing on cloud services. It is an extension of the ISO IEC 27001 standard. And if you are not sure about ISO IEC 27001 standard, please watch this channel. There are plenty of videos on ISO 27001, which I have created. So ISO 27001 is a very widely recognized global framework uh, of standards for information security management system and it is very popular. So here ISO 27017 focuses on the unique security consideration and challenges that arise in the cloud computing environments as uh, what I mentioned in the beginning of this video. Any sort of cloud computing environments, if you have any sort of public or private clouds, if you are using any sort of hybrid cloud solutions, if you have, uh, all these will come under ISO 27017, okay? So why is it important for cloud security? It is, it is important for cloud computing uh, because cloud computing introduces new type of risks, as I already mentioned, and challenges in terms of data security, data privacy, compliances. So here you, you have ISO 27017, which offers a specialized framework to address these concerns. How? By providing specific security controls related to the cloud computing. It helps organizations identify and implement appropriate measures to protect their data 
and assets when using cloud services okay so all the data that you are putting on the cloud all the assets that you are putting on the cloud it will help you to make sure that they are secure okay and iso 27017 also assists in establishing trust and transparency between cloud service providers and their customers okay so you you have a sort of relationship between the cloud service provider that you are using and yourself what are the key benefits of adopting iso 27017 so key benefits first of all as i've already mentioned is enhanced cloud security because here uh, now we are singly focusing on the cloud security aspect because ISO 27017 provides a comprehensive set of security controls which are actually tailored for the cloud environment only. Okay, so helping organizations mitigating risks associated with cloud computing and ensuring that the adequate safeguards are in place to protect the data and systems from unauthorized access, breaches and other security incidents in the cloud environment. Okay, and what else does it offers in the benefits it has clear roles and responsibilities when we implement iso 27017 it talks about defining the roles and responsibilities both at the cloud service provider side and at the cloud customer side okay so you would have to have to make sure that you have defined roles and responsibilities on your side as well as on the vendor side okay because this clarity itself will help establish accountability and it will ensure that both the parties understand their respective obligations in maintaining a secure cloud environment okay because if you do not have uh, clear roles and responsibilities then you cannot establish accountability by any part okay so i hope that makes sense then you have compliance with regulatory requirements so as i've already mentioned by adopting iso 27017 organizations can align their cloud security practices with international best practices and regulatory requirements by demonstrating due diligence and supporting compliance efforts with frameworks such as we are already familiar with gdpr hipaa and industry specific compliances okay and ISO 27017 also provides a common language and framework to organizations to communicate their cloud security practices to their customers. So this is for the cloud service providers now. Demonstrating compliance with ISO 27017 can enhance customer trust and confidence in the security of the cloud services being offered. This is for the cloud service provider now. Cost and resource efficiency, of course, would be there because you have a structured approach now to cloud security and you can now make sure that all the secure resources are aligned efficiently in the cloud and you can avoid potential security incidents data breaches so that's why you have a cost and resource efficiency of course uh, without incurring any financial losses and i think this is just a quick start uh, in this video that i'm just uh, referring you to i would not keep this video for very long and uh, in the next upcoming video we will understand what is the scope and objective of iso 27017 and what is the uh, relationship of ISO 27017 with other standards? There is another standard called ISO 27018. Okay, we will discuss about that as well and more about the cloud service provider responsibilities, data classification, encryption and key management, identity and access management, incident management in cloud, supplier relationships and cloud contracts, compliance and auditing. A lot more is coming. And I will myself be on these videos so that I can give you more confidence when I am, you know, uh, deciding on this stuff and discussing it with you over here live. So that in case of any doubts, if you have, you can ask me any questions because I am here sitting with you. So this will not be a theory based, uh, you know, uh, videos. This would all be live videos like this. I'll be here in case you have any questions right now, you can add to the chat and or add in the comment section even later on if you come across anything and i would be more than happy to respond back thank you so much for watching take care bye, -bye.